What is up guys, Aeroff Mora here, back again with another video, kind of a throwback review, but today we'll be taking a look at the Hot Toys Spider-Man Homecoming Homemade Suit Spider-Man. This is Movie Masterpiece 414, so let's get into it. So taking a look around the packaging, on the front you get a picture of Spidey right there with some spot varnishing effects around the packaging right there. On the side you get a description of the figure with the MMS number. On the back you get a bunch of warning labels and UPC. Another picture of Spider-Man right there. Uh, Spider-Man logo on the top with the descriptions as well. Same thing on the bottom. Now putting this down and looking at a top view right there. Um, opening it up, it has a magnetic flap which reveals the window box to the figure and the casting crew responsible here on the left. And I got this for a bargain price of $219 brand new. I got this about February of last year and decided not to review it, but now I'm going to review it because I need content. So yeah, let's get into it. Now opening up the, oh, okay, let's just get into the comparisons. Stark Tech suit on the left. Iron Spider on the right, more comparisons please, Iron Man on the left, Thanos on the right, two uh, figures on the bottom, Marvel Select, Marvel Legends, you get the idea, moving on. Now what Hot Toys has done is maculate with these head sculpts varying from generation to generation to each movie iteration, it's just immaculate. It's basically the same head sculpts. Um, so the two figures from Homecoming have the... Um, same skin tone but one's obviously looking to the left and one's barrel damage and the skin tones for the iron spider is a little bit paler compared to the uh, two homecoming figures uh, but looking at it you can see a nice paint job on the battle damage homecoming figure got some um, black marks on his face and got some cuts on his uh, lip here or a cut uh, which is nicely painted as well and the main difference between these figures is how they attach uh, if you remove that dumbbell joint from the homemade uh, suit, you could probably attach it to the tech suit, but good luck with that. And obviously, uh, how the Iron Spider attaches is through magnets, so yeah. Now for Spider-Man's accessories, here you get a dynamic stand with Spider-Man homemade suit version engraved in metal, which is nice in what Hot Toys should be doing. So you could have Spider-Man do some epic poses like that. Next up, you got some webs and some pegs. Mm, very nice. Same webs as before. You get a little uh, web attachment thingy that you attach to these longer pieces. I'll show how these attach to the figure soon. But looking at this uh, nice and close, you've probably seen it so many times and probably tired of seeing this day accessory finally they change it up with the uh, far from home figures they gave us a additional new sculpting web uh, looking at it it looks very nice nicely sculpted nicely detailed and very fragile so be careful with that next up you get the mask here which uh, oddly does not come with the um the lenses uh, can you even see in these uh yeah those types of uh lenses uh so obviously it didn't come with the figure you could probably glue the ones the uh the emotion emoting eyes like these ones on the mask if you want to if you want to risk damaging that uh but looking at it you got the squinty eyes and then you got the slightly squinty eyes um, I don't like these two expressions that much. Uh, I like the ones that come uh, pre-installed on the figure, but if you want to look at them, this is what they look like with the squinty eyes and the less squinty eyes. You could also mix and match them. Go ahead, go crazy, have some fun, do some cool poses, get some cool expressions out. It's very nice. You can see, huh? Right there. Now looking at the hands here, you get one pair of wall crawling hands, which is nicely sculpted, nicely detailed. Uh, right there as I usually say because it's true and next up you get a pair of web shooter hands right there now this is the part where I'll demonstrate how you attach the webs you can see there's the pose right there and you can see there's the uh, little web attachment and then you would attach it sideways into that little hole it's a snug fit but once you get it in there it looks very nice and lastly you get um, one grabbing hand and one web grabbing hand which is weird uh, but yeah with these hands you could hold the mask or hold the web or you could just have him hold the web up to you and lastly you already seen it the battle damage head sculpt and just demonstrating the articulation up down left right up down side side you know just just your basic ball joint movements 
So we know we're going to take a closer look at this figure. Uh, I just want to describe the details uh, more in depth into the fabrics that they use and possibly um, the fabrics that they might use in the future release from Far From Home with the drone. You obviously know what I'm talking about if you're a Hot Toys collector or decided to watch this review. Now looking at it, it's it seems to be the exact same as the Far From Home one. Uh, with obviously uh, less accessories uh, without the um, head sculpt from Tom Holland. Uh, but you do get additional webbing, which is <laughs> great. Um, and you get a drone, which is nice. And it's, uh, it's, it's to scale with uh, the uh, figure, which is nice. Um, but you get, the I think, the exact same hands with the figure. Uh, but other than that... Looking at the figure itself, it's an amazing sculpt. It's very nice. It's very simple since it's fabrics, but it does tend to pill. Pilling with fabric is basically the fabric materials uh, being pulled out and being clumped up together. Uh, if you throw your sheets in the uh, dryer or the washer and then they get mixed up, the you get these like little, little um circles of uh, fibers in the sheets same thing here it's kind of fuzzy looking on the head uh, so that I'm thinking pilling is happening it's a fabric term so yeah other than the head the rest of the um, suit itself is made out of the same uh, material uh, you could see there's no pilling on the blues or the reds um, which is great it's only seems to be on the head here which is quite unfortunate but looking at the stitching it's amazing what they've done uh, i love the stitching on the boots i like the different texture variation between the boots and the pants going from the soft uh, fabric of the pants to these kind of more spandexy type material on the uh, boots there and get some text at the bottom of his feet now for a figure being a very light, the articulation is easy and it's great on this figure. Get some side to side movement on this head. You can rotate it all the way around, but at the base of the neck. He can look up not that far, which is disappointing, but he can look down quite a bit, which is great. You get some side to side movement right there. Uh, it, it just don't rip the fabric uh, when you're moving it because it, it does seem a little just a teeny bit uh, fragile but uh, rotating the arms up here you can see it's not ripping at all so I have complete trust in going full bonanzas with the poses here you which you can do with any hot toy figure that has fabric because it hinders it like crazy the arms move out that far a little less than 90 degrees you get them some shoulder motion right there and up and down movement at the shoulder which is nice uh, nice flexibility right there and you also get a uh, uh, shifting right there in the shoulder you get a bicep swivel right there double jointed elbows right there you get the usual hot toys peg right there which is a flesh colored uh, you also get a bend at the torso here he has actually two bends at the torso which i'll be demonstrating so you can bend at the torso or the chest right there forward and back and you also get an abdomen crunch or a um, hip crunch right there on the bottom closer to the uh, crotch area or the uh, hips and back that much so you get more range with this figure which is nice which is uh, great but it's kind of tricky to find because you have to fiddle around in there with your um, uh, fingers and you get some side to side movement right there no waist rotation I'm pretty sure there is 360 degree rotation as well I'm pretty sure there is but um, I just don't want to risk the fabric from ripping. Legs can kick forward that far so it could sit down like so perfectly. Back not that much because of the way that the uh, the butt is sculpted. You get an upper thigh swivel right there. You get double jointed knees right there which has some nice bend and the boots tend to fall down like so but no problem just push it back up. Uh, they're not glued or anything so you don't have to worry about that. The uh, uh, feet can bend down that far up that much it's on a ball joint so you get side to side movement right there ankle pivot i wouldn't rotate the feet all the way around due to how the fabric is probably attached to it and doing the leg spread right here his legs move outward that far almost can do the splits very nice right there you get some good dynamic range on the legs and doing the ankle pivot test oh almost fell down 
I if I edit it, it'll be faster, but let's just wait a little bit. And he is good to go. If you guys like that video, drop a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video because my upload schedule is weak and I don't have a lot of videos coming out this very year, so that's why I'm uploading this content. I'm very sorry for not uploading more. It's because of this COVID-19 happening, and um, yeah, it's just very hard uh, to get reviews out and to find figures and go toy hunting. And plus, there isn't really, to be serious, um, here uh there's not really in any interesting figures they there is the marvel legends uh black widow figures that are interesting um but they don't look that great to me but I'll possibly pick one up i'm looking at the uh deluxe version with all the explosives and the uh, articulated stand but anyways uh for this figure uh, it is a great figure if you could find them for the decent price that i found them at my comic shop um Right now, um, you can find this figure for a very cheap $300 to $600 range, varying from pre-owned, which no one wants, and new with the shipper, because everyone likes a brown, clean shipper, right? Uh, well, mine didn't come with that, and I paid at retail, so lucky me. But anyways, um, you're kind of out of luck with this guy if you want to find him for retail. Uh, if you want, you can wait for the Far From Home version, but they increase the um, price from $219 to $267, which is crazy. And you're getting um, the same amount of accessories. You get a drone as well with that one, but you don't get the Tom Holland head sculpt, which is a bummer. You could probably find a third party or a third um, third party website to buy this head sculpt, but good luck with that. Uh, yeah. He's a great figure, great articulation, just fun figure to pose. That is it, guys. Hope you guys like it. Air off, world. This is signing out. Peace.